Hi again and welcome to my channel. It's time again to learn some free switch. In the last three videos, we have learned how to install free switch on a Debian Linux box and what are the default configuration files and folder structure. I mean, when we install the free switch, what folder it creates and what are the default configurations. If you didn't watch them, the links are in the description. So you can uh, go and watch them before you watch this. Uh, videos because they are somehow prerequisite for this video in this video we will uh, look at the default configurations with uh, more details we will see for example when we are installing the free switch uh, it will install some default zip profiles some default let's say zip extensions that you can register your soft phone such as zoiper or for example or your ip phone and then test some dial plans test some funny prompts, test some uh, default configurations that we have into the uh, free switch. Of course, this is not maybe very useful if you want to install free switch in a production environment, but it will give you an idea of how these uh, configurations files look like. What are the XML syntax? It's good to at least uh, explore them and uh, read them and try to understand them once before you go deep into the configuration and you clear all the configuration and you write your own. Also, we will uh, get familiar with a very useful uh, command fs under CLI, fs CLI command that uh, you will log into the free switch console and you can use some uh, special uh, commands in the free switch environment to get some information about your environment. That's a very useful command that you need it a lot. So during the configuration of the free switch, uh, you will use this command a lot and it's better to get familiar with that. So let's start by registering our soft phone. Here I'm using Zoiper in our free switch with the username and password that I will provide for you. You will see where you can find this username and password in the configuration files and try to test uh, some prompts and some extension and see how it works. You will explore the configuration files to get more familiar with the syntax. Let's get started. So let's start. Let's SSH to our free switch server. I have installed the sample free switch server on my cloud environment. I'm using Linode, by the way. You can use any other cloud digital ocean, AWS. It doesn't really matter. We use for the test. And also here I install using the Debian package. So the configuration file is in the etc free switch. Uh, in the previous video, I've teach you how to install using the uh, source code if you want to check how you have how you how we can install using the debian package it's actually it's very straightforward you can just use the uh, apt-get command to install it of course first you need to add repositories you can check the free switch documents it's very straightforward so i didn't explain again uh, let's uh, go to the configuration files my configuration file is in etc free switch let's uh, start by the actually zip extension or zip users as you know they are in the directory folder zip directory is our users so if i go to the directory default uh, you will see that by default free switch created some uh, extensions for example 1000 to 1019 let's open one of them uh, we can use view command to just view the content this is a XML format. Uh, we will learn how the XML and what are the regular expressions, but I just want you to look at the XML and try to understand uh, what is it. This is a SIP user. Of course, it has a user ID. It has a password that it seems it's reading from a default password variable. When wherever you see this uh, actually dollar sign, usually it's referring to a variable. Uh, also, the uh, password, this is a password for the VM and uh, different configurations for the color ID, for the color ID number, for the color ID name, uh, etc. Let's see. So, uh, in order to register this extension, we already have the extension number, 1000. But what about the password? It's referring to a default password. Uh, the variables as we have explained in the previous video, they are defined in the vars.xml. So if I open the vars, 
uh, you see that the default password is set to 1234. Of course, it's not safe. Definitely, you need, to, you need to change that and then reload the XML in the FSCLI. But for now, just let's try uh, registering it. So I have already downloaded and installed Zoiper. It's a free soft phone you can download from the internet. And let's register 1001 at the IP address. What was our IP address? You can see the IP address by running ifconfig command. Okay, this is our public IP address. So username at our server and then the password. The password was 1234, if I'm not mistaken. Let's double confirm. View uh, was that XML. Yes, the default password 1234. 1234. Login, next, skip. And you see that it, it is registered and it is the SIP TCP, the default SIP profile that the free switch is using it. And you just click next and it is green means it is already registered. Great. So let's see what we can do with the default registration. I have already documented the default uh, registration, the default actually prompts and uh, default extensions in my GitHub. I will put the link in the description. So for example, if you call 9386, it will just play a funny prompt. And as you can see, we have extension. It has a name, a laugh break. It has a destination field number. Then as you can see, there is a, a regex, regular expression, that this means I exactly call 9386. This is the start of a regular expression, and this is the end of a regular expression. And m the number that I'm uh, calling it should be exactly match uh, to this number. Of course, you will learn about regular expression, but it will help you to, if you open these files, it will help you to understand them better later when we are teaching them. Uh, it will run an application answer, it will sleep, it means it will wait, and then it will play back, it will play a file, uh, and it will play the phrase funny prompts, and then it will hang up. It's very straightforward. So let's try. We call 9386 and enter. As you can see, how we can see if it is running? FS CLI. If you run the FS CLI. It's a start playing some funny messages. And if you run fs.cli, you will see what way files it is, uh, let me just hang up, what files it is playing. So when I call this extension 9386, it will play a phrase that it's uh, some funny prompts. And it's good to actually run the fs.cli, fs, let me just exit, you can exit with three dots run fscli you are in the console and you can see what's happening so if i call again because uh, we had a sleep in the registration so it takes some time to uh, start playing the messages So that works. Also, we have other default extensions. For example, we have a demo IVR or iterative voice response. This is uh, uh, you. If you are not familiar familiar with the IVR, uh, I can explain like this. If you are calling some companies, they will play a message. For example, uh, welcome to company X Y Z for sales press one for uh, technical press two. This is IVR. So. Here we have a demo IVR as well that you can see. This is a, uh, if you call 5,000, this is how we are calling a 5,000. This is how we are specifying if we call a 5,000, then this application should run. So we have a condition and also we have an application. And this application will answer, uh, will sleep for actually 2,000 milliseconds, and then it will run an application demo IVR. Let's call and try. At the same time, it's a good idea to 
run fscli and see what's going on let's call 5000 Is this is still in the sleep. Welcome to FreeSwitch, the future of telephony. This IVR will let you test some of the features of your FreeSwitch installation. You may exit at any time by simply hanging up. If you know your party's extension, please enter it now. Okay, so if you know the extension, conference, please press one. for example, it says if you want to go to the conference, press, two. press one. Echo one. test, press two. This is echo test. So echo test will try to repeat whatever you have uh, mentioned there. So that was an echo test. Whatever I'm saying, it will repeat. OK, that's it. Uh, and we have a conference. FreeSwitch has a conference call. It is extension 3000. Let's look at the 3000, how it is look like. For exiting, actually, you cannot use the command exit. You can use three dots. Uh, let's go to the dial plan and see the default XML. Vime uh, default.xml. And let's search for extension 3000. So if I search for extension 3000, uh, of course, this is not the extension that we want. Okay, it's not here in the default. Let's see where is it. Um, maybe it is in the default folder. Okay, these are the default uh, extensions that you have. For example, even we have another one, 01 talking clock. Let's look at what is it. Okay. How we can access this? You can see here we have a field destination number 9170. Let's try 9170. Sorry, 9170. I need to enter here. It will sleep and then it needs to play the current time. 17 p.m. It's playing actually my uh, system clock. Let me see if it is correct. Let me quick and run date command. As you can see, yes, it is 14 means 2.17 p.m. So it's uh, what I wanted to actually uh, train to you is that try to register your cell phone. Try to uh, explore these uh, configuration files. For example, open the uh, time clock, open the uh, PISA demo. Uh, try to uh, get, try to get familiar as much as possible before you go and read actually what are all of these applications about. It will help you in the next uh, stages. Uh, in the next video, we will learn to go. We will learn to. Uh, we will learn the. Mm, regular expressions and then we go deep into the how we can configure a free switch, different, different configurations, how we can create directory, etc. I hope this video uh, was useful. If uh, you have uh, any questions, please put in the comments and have a nice day. Thank you.